Hello, friends. It's I, Magus Supreme. Welcome to Thursday Nights here on the Superior Adventurers Guild Twitch channel. <laughs> We're having a magical good time. Now, please turn your attention to those who put the Om Nom in my Shivai. Ah, what does that oh, mean? Oh, no. <laughs> it seems good. I spent, I, spent, I spent all day trying to think of something just super <laughs> dumb that is like quasi magic related oh, that no. I could say for that. My, you know, Om Nam Shivai, Om Nam Shivai from Indiana Jones and the uh, Temple of Doom. Oh, that's an old oh, throwback, heart, man. Out heart, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh um, Chad, we have a right. wild magic surge. From oh, Eversol. Oh. <laughs> what? Already. We're wow. off to a good start. <laughs> it's just like, what does this do that hasn't started yet? But we'll do this. We'll do this. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Uh Dave Ashley, uh Andy, Kirk, and I'll I'll uh, get to the bottom of that while you guys introduce yourselves. Hey everybody, my name's Dave, D underscore M Dave on the uh the Twitters and all that good stuff. Uh Hang out with these great people playing games on Wednesday and Thursday nights. Uh, I get to run a game for these these kids on Wednesdays called Beyond Saltmarsh. Super jazzed with that game. It's been going for like two years now. Um, and then tonight, of course, Kids on Brooms. Uh, Friday night, come and check it out. Uh, Eversalt and I will be running a session of Nights and Bikes, which is a charity stream that we are running for the Children's Miracle Network Hospital System through Extra Life. So come on over and check that out. And um, I should also mention that this coming weekend, I will be playing with a bunch of folks over on Time Lord Wife's channel uh, for the St. Jude fundraiser. Uh, it's part of the Greyhawk Communities fundraiser for the St. Jude Research Hospital. So lots of good things, uh, doing things for kids, playing kids on brooms, nights and bikes, and having a good old time doing it. So yeah, check us out. Passing it to Ashley. Ashley. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Ashley. Uh, and uh, I am Minnesota Muse 99 on uh, Twitter. And oh, man. Um, are we introducing our characters or no, just ourselves? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So whatever I'm playing uh, <laughs> Roxana Greenvale, um, who is a young lady with a wonderful trash panda who is her bff forever uh and we like to make art and that's it so excited to play her again Roxy. andy how are you doing my friend hey what's up everybody my name is andy you can find me on this channel playing runar deg on wednesday nights but on this night, we are playing Kids on Brooms, and I am playing Max Dufresne, a charismatic slacker, and he's excited to be back at school. And last but certainly not least, Kirk Wyman. Hey, I'm Kirk. And it's Tonight's episode, I am not playing a rogue, so I will not do chaotic things. So you're not going to mm -hmm. throw a, a Molotov cocktail in the middle of the street? I, like I will not. 11 o'clock in the morning? Well, probably I will. Sure woman. I, uh, <laughs> I don't think same. I will throw any Molotov cocktails. Traumatic. Because I am playing Levin Shortop, a, a quiet, semi- High functioning, crazy smart, super smart, timid bookworm. Timid bookworm, withdrawn bookworm. Nice. Yeah. Yep, withdrawn. Oops. Yep. And you have a cookbook. If I do recall, we did a little yes. bit of baking That's last right. episode. I have a cookbook. I have a turtle friend. Um, I have a magic eight ball that is occasionally right. Yeah, what are everybody's, uh, what are everyone's uh, familiars again? 
I have a trash panda who's a raccoon. Um, got, and his name is Walter. I got a tarantula named Ocho. Ocho. Yep. I have an emperor tamarin whose name is Douglas. <laughs> Sir Douglas, isn't it? <laughs> Sir Douglas. He is a haughty gentleman, but nobody's met him yet, so. Mm. I have a, a turtle named Leonardo. Leonardo. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Leonardo Sheldon. Marthys. Mark him down. There we go. Uh, Darth, I am. I forgot to mention, I'm playing Colton Sky, a uh, wacky prankster, comes from a rich family, uh, and... Um, yeah, you'll find out more as as it happens. He likes right, to get into so, trouble. So let's deal with this uh, wild magic thing while I'm thinking about it, and then we'll yeah. do the recap. Thanks, Travis. All right. So I rolled a four, so that uh, way it will affect. Oh shit! I'm a bad DM. Uh, bad boy. Eleven. Oh, not to be confused with eleven, right? And then that one, okay. Sweet, okay. I will let you know when this effect happens. <laughs> <laughs> I should uh, mention uh, while we're on the topic, Chad, real quick, that if folks yeah. want to support the stream. Obviously, uh, Eversalt just already realized that you can use your channel points to affect wild magic magic surges uh, on campus and, and wherever the party may be. Um, but hey, if you're not already following or subscribing, go for it. Check it out. We'd love to see you more often. You can cheer bits uh, to provide the party with trickery points. Um, let's put that in here. And those can help us to... They're not really advantages. They give us like a... Uh, they, how do they work again, Chad? They give us like a plus two to a roll. God, I, I'm I'm a bad um, I'm a bad again. host here. It's a plus uh, one. Plus one. Thank you. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Hang out with us. That's all we care about. All right, back that's to you, Chad. That's all. We enjoy you lurking in the yeah lurk. background. Clip stuff right. like Ashley does. She's always clipping. It's my only critique, stuff. Hunter Entertainment, is that. It would have been nice if the trickery points were highlighted with a sub subheading in the book, <laughs> or if I could read. I guess Wait, DM screens. screens. Do they have yeah. a DM screen for this? For uh, this? So I actually somebody somebody made one on the like I found on the Reddit or some forums or uh, whatever. And I printed it out. I like copied it, uh, and then like took because they put a background on it, and I'm like I'm not going to print uh, the background on my home printer. And I printed it out on nice index card paper. So nice. That's nice. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's get into this uh, little recap. We can remind ourselves uh, what the hell is happening since it has been um, a small amount of time. All right. So if you will remember, um, our players, our students, if you will, are uh, enrolled at the Bruxton Academy of Arcane Arts, which is a very prestigious, uh, magical secondary school, essentially, um, uh, it located um, ethereally in New York City. I say ethereally because uh, a part of the history of the school uh, has prompted it to be uh, decentralized. Uh, the main building that is actually in a place uh, is is known as the is is the library building, um, sometimes sometimes called the archive of doors, uh, and uh, because there are a number aside from books, there are a number of doors uh, within the library that connect uh, to the various classrooms, labs, uh, dorms, and offices uh, that the the school requires our students uh in this instance this first session were returning from their christmas their holiday break uh and they were uh taking the uh method of transportation that uh much of the magical 
populace of New York uses, uh, colloquially known as the the NIS uh, or the NIS or the Not in Service. It's a series of of subway trains uh, that appear to normal folk to be standard, not in use or quasi derelict tr train cars. But of course, for those uh, who are uh, magic initiates, uh, they're able to see the truth and able to kind of see through the illusions that have been placed on these train cars. Uh, during their transit, uh, and actually, you know, I think even leading up to getting on the train is like, that's when the pickles came out. I think that was like right away, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure the pickles came out right away. I just happened to have some. We got a jar of pickles. <laughs> what I, I imagine know is, it a larger jar than that. <laughs> it's the biggest one I could find. Did, did you did you put a tape on there so that I did. you don't have to brand drop? Yep. Pickles. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's classic. That's if, so if good. If you're following me on TikTok, you'll recognize this jar of yeah. pickles. Um, some pranks were immediately engaged upon uh, on on the while on the on the plat on the train platform. Um, a number of other students and 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 their families were were boarding the train. Uh, there was a young boy who. Uh, had a, a possibly strange but uh, tearful uh, sort of uh, um, kind of goodbye from his mom as he uh, reboarded the train to go back to school. Um, I'll board the train. That that student was, of course, immediately picked on by um, a bully whose name is Bruno Bruce. Um, and the uh the the pickle ninja warriors as they uh have have called their their schoolyard gang um uh at least in part kind of uh came a bit to his rescue sort of uh and uh engaged in uh, some some chicanery against against uh bruno um and then uh he was knocked down and, and of course Colton was like, Oh, Hey, I'll help you up. And in, and in prime wacky prankster, the, you know, bad boy of sixth grade, you know, did the psych as he went to hand him up his hand, um, ostensibly, you know, creating an enemy for life. That sort of, you know, it's nothing, nothing big, Simple. nothing yeah. big. Um, I'm sure he'll get over it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, bully. After, they get over everything. After therapy, you know, <laughs> half a dozen swirlies. Um, and uh, things were going pretty normal until they weren't <laughs> in prime ball <laughs> playing game fashion. Everything was great until it wasn't. <laughs> um, the train kind of like powered down. Everything went dark. The train stopped moving, uh, which was super weird. Of course. Uh, the uh, school staff who were who were on the, on the train, um, which included a, uh, a a PE teacher. I don't know why I picked a PE teacher, but I did. But PE teacher Ryder Washmuth um, was there um, using their wands to uh, create uh, light so they could see everybody and 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 get a head count in case anything weird had happened. Uh, um, of course it did happen weird, weird stuff did happen a little bit later, um, after it kind of did the same stop a thing again. Um, when the train started, started moving again, it, it turned out that, um, our four heroes were, uh, were not on the train. They found themselves along with their suitcases and, and whatnot, um, kind of just standing there in the dark of the New York subway train tunnels. It's disconcerting as I'll get out, I would say. Um, after some uh, discussion, they decided to go that way. And uh, <laughs> uh, after some some twists and turns and riding of the brooms, 
uh, they found themselves coming around the corner uh, where there was a, a body uh, a, of a form of some kind laying upon the ground in a and a uh, of a, like a humanoid figure kind of made of light it seemed kind of hovering over this body um, one hand was on its heart one hand was on its on its head or some such there was an exclamation of it worked I think somebody threw a pickle at him or something or a, something like I'm pretty that. pretty sure that yeah. they got hit in the head with the pickle <laughs> um, and then they promptly kind of disappeared and then whoosh whoosh everything you guys were back on the train and it was like well that was weird hmm. um and totally unfazed we decided part, to make stuff <laughs> one part yeah one part i forgot to mention is that uh the first time people disappeared before the the party disappeared uh they had found that colton this this boy with the weird tearful thing with his mom and he was getting picked on he had disappeared or he wasn't there um, and then the party then the party had disappeared and then everybody was back well uh, the teachers were going to see uh wanted to see colton the part uh, the party and all the rest of the class students were released to their dorms um and told of course to uh you know get ready for classes the next day because it's term is starting again it's time to learn um they went back to their their dorm and yeah baked a bee sting cake which they had found in an in an orc cookbook um and it involved like bees and stuff it wasn't great it, yeah it was odd for sure um and that's kind of where we ended it um so um here we are it is the uh the morning of your um first day of the spring term whatever you want to call it uh, of the new semester post post break um please um if you would um in no specific order but i will call on you if i feel the need to um uh like what does what does your morning routine look like? How do you how do you all kind of approach approach the day? Floss in. For sure. Just hours that's a, that's of great, flossing. That's a, great, that's a great way to start the day. <laughs> or you mean the dance? <laughs> the dance of the day. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I wake up, you know, like two hours before school and I like turn on Spider-Man and start dancing around the house, getting the, feeding the turtle, you know, you know, checking all my books, doing a little bit of studying before class. You know, maybe I read a chapter or two or four or five. Then I, then I practice my rock band. I try and get, you know, Leonardo to play his instrument, but he's just not there yet. What instrument does Leonardo? I'm trying to get him to play the flute, but they have what version of rock band is this? Um, Orcus, this is like a real rock band. I want to be an animal rock band. Oh, okay. I want to lead a, a band of rock animals. Like lips to play the flute. Yeah, <laughs> he is hard. sucks at it. It's it's really hard. Hard. <laughs> second, second question. Um, what Spider-Man are you watching? Um, oh, you definitely wa into the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. A classic Maybe. way to start the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've seen it 36 times. The character or Kirk? What do you mean? <laughs> there is no Kirk. Oh, the character. Yeah. <laughs> Kirk's seen it like twice. Oh, uh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Um, how does uh, how does Max how does Max start his day? Uh, he gets up kind of slow, you know, brushes his teeth, lays down again on maybe like the 
you know, is, I, I imagine we're in kind of a, are we in like a communal house, like a residence? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a, a brownstone. So there's like, a, a, there's a, it's a row of brownstones kind of, and there's a, a like U4 and a number of other students are kind of in this section. Yeah, so I just, um, yeah, he he moves real slow in the morning. Do you like brush your teeth? Do you have yeah, like a, a mirror on the? Teeth. You have a mirror on the ceiling. You just brush your teeth laying in bed. <laughs> no, he gets out of bed for that part, but then like once he's up, he goes and like lays on the couch and waits for the day to start. Going over things with Douglas, prepping his um his uh his game book that he's trying to sell. Nice, nice. How about uh, Roxanne? All right. Uh, she Roxanne, uh... rolls out of bed. Um, her hair is all messed up. Uh, she uh, like hauls Walter into the common room. We're both mat- wearing matching PJs. Um, <laughs> With feet? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Matching okay. footy PJs. Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe stripes, <laughs> something. Um, she plops down on the couch with Walter on her lap and she has a jar of peanut butter and a spoon and like she eats a big spoonful and then she gives Walter a spoonful <laughs> and we'll, we'll watch TV with whoever is watching TV. <laughs> you got to get those gains. Yeah. <laughs> Classy. And, uh, yeah, Colton, uh, how do you start your day? Well, Colton gets out of bed, brush teeth, floss every morning. Um, it's just the way he was brought up. He, uh, he, it's just a total habit, but he folds his pajamas as he puts them away mm-hmm. and he throws on, uh, some sort of grungy, uh, cargo shorts and a, um, a beastie boys t-shirt he probably has never even heard the Beastie Boys before. I don't know, but he, he likes he likes the look. Uh, and then he gets out his phone and and after his his good friend Roxy like got him hooked on TikTok, so he uh, he sets up the phone and he it t- takes him a little while to get the right angle, but he does like a TikTok update in the morning uh, and kind of says hi to his peeps. He's got like one follower, um, or maybe two now. I'll have to check, but. Uh, he does this thing where he fills up this bucket of ice water and, and then he, he, you know, you could see it and he's going to dump it on himself. So he pulls it up over here and I'm, he's going to try to do a magic to make it turn into popcorn as he pours it over his head. This is what he's shooting for. All right. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, let's call that. I don't know. Oh man. Let's call that fight. (laughs) What is it? Flight? Fight? Let's call it fight. Fight. Okay. Yep. So that's for me. That's Uh, a D6. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything else? Nope. So here's my question. Do you show the bucket of ice? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, that's, part of, that's part of what he's trying to figure out. We'll call it unnatural because I, I've seen enough weird videos on the internet. Like some stuff could happen. Yep. Um, so so that it'll be a, exactly? a plus three difficulty. Okay. So this is going to be hard. Um, Shit. Uh, with a, we'll call it, and then it's a, air, a small area of effects, a tiny area of effects. So plus, so another plus one. So a plus four difficulty. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't remember what that means, but it sounds really hard. Uh, especially for a D six, but I'm going to do it anyways. Cause that's Colton. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. All yeah, right. Do it. Here it yeah, is. Let's do it. Let's rock. I rolled a four. 
A four. Okay, so let me. It's gonna be a cold morning. Okay, I'm doing weird math. That's okay. Okay. Trig. Hang on, I got, it, I got it, I got it. Um. Okay. Did I fail? Okay. Um. So you, you, um. You lift the bucket up, you know, you kind of show the bucket, you lift it up and you dump it. And as you dump it, um, what, uh, how do you, in this instance, how do you work your, your magic? Uh, it's a, it's a verbal component uh, okay. to this one, but I have my wand like pointing at me. Like I set up my wand specifically, like on on you got the a table. Got a tripod so, for your camera and a tripod and for your wand. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so the wand is pointing at. You have to do this when you're a magic yeah. TikToker. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's how I do it. And then I I say I say uh, pippity poppity popcorn. <laughs> and um, you you dump the bucket and. At first, you're like, "Oh, this is this is great" because there's like a couple of kernels fall, but then yes. it's like just a bucket yeah. of ice water, <laughs> <laughs> just all over the floor. And then it's just this awkward like reach to the phone to stop the video, and it kind of falls <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> and then he changes into his uh, his Faith No More T-shirt. Like the last thing, you, like the last thing the TikTok video sees as as you're like reaching for it, soaking wet, is 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 Walter with just a giant paw of peanut butter stuffing into his mouth in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Did you do Wizard that 69? challenge in, in the same room as the rest of us then? So we just uh, yeah. watched you dump a whole bucket of water on your head? Yep. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Big whiz for life! <laughs> You're going to clean that up, right? Uh, yep. <laughs> totally. <sighs> Walter, don't step in that. <laughs> I'll carry Leonardo over and I'll put him in the water. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not cold. Like, it's not like water, water. Now it's just like a... Like... A, a pot, like a, a puddle of water on the hardwood floor. Perfect. I <laughs> like that. It's just lightly damp. All right. So, how uh, did that uh, bee sting cake go uh, from last night? Did <laughs> any any lingering effects from that? Um. Oh, Have you know. seen my tongue? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, show your tongue. <laughs> is it swollen or is it yeah. like no? There's like a little. There's you can see the spot where the stinger where I got the stinger. Ow, I think I need to go it's... see the school nurse or something. Do we have one of those? Levin, I, you get hurt I a lot. So. Do we have a nurse? <laughs> yeah, uh, I know the way. We, if we if we hurry, she 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 usually gets there in like about twenty minutes. You know her schedule, dude. Well, I I have to wait sometimes for her to get there. Oh man, <laughs> I should go see her. I hope I'm not allergic. Uh, I I don't think you're allergic because we slept and you 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 made it through the night. I could have died. If you were allergic. But you're not and, allergic because yeah, you're still you're fine. alive. Yeah. Science. Cool. Do you, do you feel swollen? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> worked. Natural selection at its finest. Do we have class today? <laughs> yep. We're gonna get to that. We're getting to that right now. Oh, I should yeah. go change. <laughs> she and Walter like disappear in, into the her bedroom to change cool pjs thank you <laughs> um 
yeah, everything uh, is a is a bit of a blur, you know, as you kind of uh, get back into the swing of getting ready and and going to class. Um, as chance, of course, would have it. Um, I guess in, in some cases, as you've been uh, used to in the in the previous semester, um, uh, all of you new students um, are kind of together uh, throughout many of your classes, um, which is great. Your first class, your first class uh, is uh, in many ways unfortunate because it is uh, history of magic. Oh man! Everyone's, everyone's favorite class. Such a snoozer. Um, Professor Fulton, uh, the uh, kind of old, ultra boring uh, professor, uh, is is droning on uh, on the nature of mundane magical items. All of you have tuned out, despite your best efforts. Almost as though his words were casting a spell on you. Uh, to make you only hear snippets of what he's saying, so, such as, and thus, blah, 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 items. We find blah, 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 of your blah, 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 ancient, blah, 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 powerful, blah, 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 not magical, and 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 so on and so forth. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, uh, a, a cavalcade of shit you're not listening to. Um, and... You know, he kind of finishes and 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 claps his hands, startling, starting, startling kind of everyone in the class. He said, "Now then, um, let's have a look at, at 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 those things that you have that the the things that you have brought uh, the uh, the 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 homework of of having magical items or or mundane items um, that you have recovered from over the break." And he, he, uh, you know, the various students in, in the class are kind of begin kind of digging out um, whatever items that they have brought uh, in uh, from their from their bags uh, or, or pockets uh, wherever they have 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 kept them. Magic. Ma Magus, Magus Supreme, Magus, Magus. Yes, sir. Uh, is Colt is uh not Colton is uh Carter in this class Carter. with us? He is. He is in this class. Psst, Carter. Carter. Psst, what are you What are you doing? Carter. Uh, yeah. He he is like pretty enthralled with like pulling out. A, he pulls out a box out of his bag. And like opens it and then like pulls out this like wrapped object and is like unwrapping it, bubble wrap and stuff. Look at and Carter. He he kind of startles you kind of startle him. Oh, uh hey, hey. uh What's up, hey dude? Colton. Hey. hey man, good to see you. Yeah. Okay. How, what happened to your tongue? What do you mean? Look What's at up? Stop. Check this out. <laughs> I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Did you just flex at him? I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. Okay. Carter's here, guys. Um, Carter's here. And uh, he, he kind of before... As as people are, are are kind of getting their things, he he like he's like raises his hand. He's like ooh 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 ooh, and uh, the professor Fulton kind of looks around, and he says, "Ah, yes, young Mister Riley, uh, please come and uh, tell us this object that you have brought." And Carter walks to the walks to the room walks to the front of the room with his object and uh, he he 
kind of he's at that spot, you know, like between like being shy and and super excited. Now that he's up front, he's a little shy about it, but um, you can tell he's kind of excited at the same time. He says, he says, "Oh yeah, this this silly little thing. Uh, yeah, it's been in my family." for a long time I, i'm not really sure uh we found it in my in my grandfather's house uh you know after he died it's it it's a cartoon rabbit and he kind of shows it and you can see that it's a uh, you know it's kind of a classic bugs bunny you know kind of leaning back on on something just kind of standing there uh he's got that he's got the you know the carrot like held like a cigar in one hand and he's he's kind of making eyes at you know whoever is looking at at this object and uh he says he says yeah you know we probably should have thrown it out it's just kind of a, a weird little thing you know but it just makes us laugh every time we look at it. It's it's so wonderful. You can hear um, as he's kind of doing his little presentation, um, Bruno uh, and and his little uh, his cohort guy, um, who I never gave a name to. We'll call him Fred. Fucking. Bruno and Fred, you can you can hear that they uh, they kind of start, um, you know, like ah, look at calling this so stupid lab rabbit. <laughs> What's up, Doc? And they're like shh, shh. kind of snickering to each other at the back of the room. Colton will shush him, and uh, and they. Bruno kind of gives you a look like, I can't make a mean face look when I'm not mean faced. (laughs) Roxy will reach into her bag and pull out a pickle and then like hand it over to Colton (laughs) and then screw the lid back on, put it back in her bag. (laughs) Professor Fulton clears his throat and he he says, mm, "Yes, uh, uh, Bruno and Fred. That's that's enough out of you. I I can I can hear your snickering all the way up here. It's I've been doing this a lot longer than you have." And uh, what does my what does my text say here? Oh yeah. Chad, real quick, we do have uh, the wild magic from Eversalt from before, yep. and then we have two more. We have one from Vamp, thank you, Vamp, and one from uh, Silver Fox, uh, Sil- Silver Red Fox Gaming. Holy! So it's getting wild in here. Getting wild in here. We just got wild magic. No kidding. And Darth, it looks like Darth has readied an action. To, to purchase, <laughs> to uh, redeem a surge. <laughs> all right. Well, we're also going to target uh, Colton and and uh, and Max. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. And interesting okay all right i have them i have them in my pocket uh, it'll 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 be appropriate when it happens nice don't you don't you fear and uh uh professor fulton uh he kind of takes this uh this bugs bunny object and um he kind of looks it over and he kind of looks looks to the class 
And he says, ah, oh, well, <clears throat> what young Mr. Riley describes here is precisely the kind of thing that a secretly magic item could do to those around it. Make it innocuously uh, endearing to, to its viewers. Um, but this would, of course, only work on, on non-magic users, uh, which, of course, the Rileys and their son are, are certainly not. Um, I taught both his parents, you know, um, uh, and he kind of turns to, to, to Carter. Pl please give my regards to them. Hey, anyhow, we see a strong emotional response, a desire to keep and safeguard this object, um, a lack of surety when, uh, where it came from or, 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 or indeed what it is, um, But here, let's uh, a, a quick test will 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 absolve us of any of any doubts in this case. And uh, he 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 pulls out his wand and uh, waves it and mutters mutters some words and kind of holds the object up. You know, he's like, I have a I have a pig figurine. It's not a. It's not a bunny, but that's what I got in my hand, right? And he, he does this, and everybody kind of waits, and uh, nothing happens. And he says, oh, um, hmm. well, it seems, Mr. Riley, that what you have here is a, is a porcelain rabbit making bedroom eyes at whoever the viewer is. Nothing what are, more. What, are bedroom what does bedroom eyes? mean? <laughs> <laughs> he, I think he looks a little flustered and he says, um, Miss Greenvale, uh, uh, that is a question for another class. Okay, I'll ask my next teacher. Down. <laughs> I think it was an illuendo. What's an illuendo? I don't know. I just, I've heard, I've heard illuendos before. They're about and, bedroom uh, stuff. Colton, Colton, uh, kind of takes his his rabbit and 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 goes to sit down, um, and uh, he looks about the class and says, "All right." Um, who wants to go next? Max, Max, go, buddy. Go, Max. I don't know. Come on. You always got the best stuff. All right. I I have something. I have this a coin. It's a magic coin. Oh. And when you flip it, it most it, it lands on the heads most of the time. Cool. Like all, pretty much all the time. Would you care? Would you care to demonstrate? <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll I'll flip it. All right. Right onto um, the desk. <laughs> roll a uh, roll a d six. We'll say uh, one through three. One two one two three tails. Uh, four five six heads. Four. Four. Nice. nice. Oh, it works. That was going to be awkward if it was tails. Um, and uh, Mr. Fulton kind of does the same thing, uh, you know, with your, with your coin and his wand and he says his words and, and works some magic. And he says, Young man, you just have a very lucky coin. Sadly, nothing more. No, it's magic. It works like half the time. <laughs> On average. No, like over <laughs> half. More than half. I assure you, if it was magic, we would have detected it here. Oh, man. 
who next? All right, one of one of you is gonna have to go. Um, is this? Are are we doing the the regular items from home? Or are we doing magic items from home? Your mon your Monday and magic your magic items. My oh, okay. Um, she pulls out the jar of pickles. Um, oh, yeah. and she she goes, I have a never ending jar of pickles. They replenish and she shakes it up and like, it does look like there's more pickles in it after she shook it. She puts it down at the desk. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Um, and he, he takes, he takes up the jar and, and does, does the same thing. And, you know, as, as he's holding this jar, uh, uh, and and he waves his wand. You can hear someone in the back yawn. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, the tip of his wand begins to glow with a blue light, as does the jar of pickles. And he says, "Ah, aha." Every few years we get one of these. Yes, you see it. And then you hear the telltale ringing of the bell as class has has ended. And uh, he says, well, um, hmm. he kind of hands hands the jar back. Uh, he says, yes, well, that's our, our class for today. Um, but I'll see you all tomorrow. I, th I think I have a hard time keeping track of schedules sometimes. Um, but I think, yes, yes. Third block tomorrow, unless there's a full moon. Is it, is there a full moon tomorrow? Walter, is there a full moon tomorrow? <laughs> I just asked the raccoon. <laughs> is he in a strogemer? Uh, he says, ah, no, no, no. Yes, third block tomorrow. Um, and uh, yes, uh, Miss Greenvale, uh, please, if you could stay after a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. We'll wait for the you. Other, we'll wait the for other the students, side. all of the other students kind of, kind of start to file out. A couple of students, like, almost look like almost like wistfully a bit kind of at you like oh you've got a fucking magic jar of pickles <laughs> i told myself i wasn't gonna swear and yet here i am swearing oh. I was, i'm such a bad man um <laughs> and uh he oh man i'm losing my brain Did you want a pickle? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I tell you what. Um, let's let's take a break. <laughs> Brain break. Brain break. Um, everyone, we're gonna take a a, a, a short break. Uh, recharge our batteries. Um, for those of you who have who have done the wild magic surges, never you fear. I have them queued up and uh, have them ready to be interesting um very very shortly um more interesting than a raccoon with a magic jar of pickles well it doesn't get maybe not that interesting that. maybe not that interesting um yeah we'll see you in about 10 minutes Thank you.
Hello. Welcome back to Kids on Brooms. Right here. Woohoo. Superior Adventures Guild Twitch channel. Sometimes known as Guild Superior. Um, I, fi- I think I finally uh, trained myself not to say Guild Superior <laughs> after spending like, what, three, four months saying, not being able to say mm-hmm. Superior Adventures Guild. Double that. I'm reading it. Because I'm reading that. it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so the, the class is filed out. Uh, Professor Fulton has asked uh, you, Roxana, to stay behind. And um, he says, uh, he says, uh, Miss, Miss Greenvale, um, it, we can't necessarily address it right now. I, I have another class coming in, but if you could come and find me um, sometime over the next few days, or I, or I'll 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 come and find, I'll send you a a, a note, a, a a pigeon note or something, or an owl. I'll and, keep uh, an eye out for all birds. He says so. Sometimes these these are uh, these can be items such as these can be powerful and dangerous. Sometimes it's not a uh, it's not a problem. But how bad can an unending jar of pickles be at any rate? Well, it only like it it doesn't fill beyond the space. You know, just don't like leave the lid open. <laughs> and she. She unscrews oh. it and like takes out a wet pickle and just puts it down on his desk and then puts the lid back on and puts it back in her bag. Oh, thank you. He takes it. There's a nice crisp snap. It's perfect, perfect snap. Uh, wow. Well, uh, you don't want to be late for your next class. Okay. Bye. Come in, Walter. He's he just follows me. He's, he's got half of that pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow he's yeah. eating pickle. So you lot um, head to your uh, next class, um, which is potions. Um, and uh you you travel uh through the doors back to the library uh and then uh into another into another door um oh, i was going to have a cool I forgot, about, I forgot the potions today. I was going to have a cool image. Oh, well, too late now. It would take too much time. We won't worry about it. Um, it. You know, and unlike certain pop culture things, uh, potions, uh, this potions class uh, does not take place in a dungeon. Oh, no. Uh, this... Um, you you step out of the door uh, into your potions classroom, um, and it is bright uh, because indeed there is half of the room is is like one of those like kind of greenhouse roof. You know, it's like a glass roof wall. Um, you you can see that you are kind of in the, on the top the top floor of a of a uh of some kind of not a full skyscraper but you know a a a tall-ish building um there are a number of 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 big you know very standard like lab tables you know so it's like the double table um there's of course a uh, uh, instead of of course this is wizard school so instead of like bunts and burners at every station there's there's like you know little little witches cauldrons and whatnot um, a number of of 
of of glass fronted cabinets um, on one end of the uh, one end of the uh, kind of this lab room uh, with various different um, vials and and like boxes and and bags of uh labeled with all kinds of different ingredients um and uh your professor uh professor uh xiao um is there oh, I xiao swear. did you say yeah xiao or uh, with a with a z h a o um and uh she is a uh a, a younger uh sort of uh professor you know she's probably in her 40s very much younger than the previous the previous professor professor fulton who was a, a, a an older gray-haired gentleman uh not in the esteemed like snowy gray hair that uh, is dotting some of our beards here, but like the full iron gray sort of guy. Not you don't have a full iron gray beard, Dave. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a nice. Um, and um, she has uh, <laughs> she's kind of uh, kind of standing behind a little podium, and her her hedgehog familiar um is kind of walking back and forth across the front of the podium um and every now and then as a you know as a, a student comes in it kind of stands up and squeaks and and then kind of goes back to it it's like weird hedgehog pacing hey levin levin if what do you think if if walter fought that hedgehog who do you think would win like just just mano y mano, hedgehog. Really? Yeah. They're tough. They can roll into little balls. They can roll around like really fast. Not, and I think that that hedgehog is is Smart, is well trained. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Well, I mean, we could we could train Walter. Walter's really good at stealing stuff, but I don't peanut know butter. if he could win a fight. He ate all the peanut butter this morning. No, I saw I was going to have a peanut butter and jelly for lunch today. I'm I'm just going to have a jelly. We'll have to, mm, that's sad. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk to Roxy later. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Pass really wanted back. peanut butter on it's my okay. PB&J. It's okay. As, as um, um, Levin, as you are sort of um, disparaging your your lunch, um a number of motes of light begin to fill the air around you um and 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 dance around you as if you know as if this was like a one of the scenes from fantasia um you can see that they are indeed like in the shape of little 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 like people like if you look, if you stare too close, you can see, oh, this one's, this one's flossing. You're, is that one buying groceries? I think that one is, is, yep, that one's definitely doing the sprinkler. It's just a. Are, are you seeing this? <laughs> I don't know. Am I? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Everybody. Shit. Everybody's They're dancing. Everybody's dude. Everybody. Yeah. This, this, this one is of them is so down. cool. <laughs> think I'm what doing is this right now. I think I'm doing this. This is me. Levin, is this you? This is me. I could maybe. Professor Professor Xiao says, "Um, students. Um, Mr. Shorttop. Uh, uh, what?" What is this spell? I, 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 it's, um, uh, jelly time. Woo! Is that, woo! Is, is that is that little guy doing the MC Hammer dance? Look I love that. Hammer can't, go. Hammer can't hurt him. 
she uh Can't she this. tries she tries she pulls out her wand she's like this is distracting and tries to uh tries and fails to dispel it um and uh yeah this will last for uh a small amount of time oh geez oh geez everybody's watching i know <laughs> oh yeah, students are filing in and like you know it's like what is what oh my oh like is how? bruno here um yep yeah bruno and fred show up and i'm gonna take kinda... the i'm gonna take the pickle that uh that roxy gave me earlier out of my pocket because i had a pickle in my pocket i'm gonna pull it out and i'm gonna look right at bruno i'm gonna take a bite out of it <laughs> and then i'm gonna stick it back in my pocket <laughs> real slow like he just looks at you a little confused he does he's like what and then he kind of gets the mean face again you know then he's like he's like what and he's like <laughs> <laughs> and then fred fred does the like slap on his chest like haha yeah you tell him bruno and uh, professor zhao professor zhao is the student students and uh as as she kind of calms everyone down and, and gets everyone centered the uh the uh the dancing lights uh kind of fade out with one last one last sprinkler andy if you would do one last sprinkler yeah there we go <laughs> <laughs> they all kind of come together into a big into one big light and it does the sprinkler and then it's gone <laughs> professor zhao uh, yeah. I, I think I think I need to go to the nurse. Did you hurt yourself? I am freaking out. I mean, it's why everyone looked at me. I don't think that's a reason to go to the nurse. Hey, Levin, come on. Come and sit down with us. Right, yeah, guys? Man, just chill. Yeah, come on. It's so, cool. Uh, Roxanne pulls out a paper bag from from her her cloth bag, and she, she hands it over to Levin. <laughs> put it over. It'll be fine. I, I, will, I will put the paper bag on my head. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, then Roxy will like lean forward and draw like a little face with like a smiley face on it. <laughs> Cap back oh, on. Boy. <sighs> it's eleven. As long as it's not disruptive. When it becomes disruptive, then we'll pull it off. <gasps> And uh, Professor turns to the class and she says, ah, welcome. Uh, welcome to potions. Um, potions are the best. I love potions. Welcome to the wonderful world of potions. With potions, you... Uh, oh, hang on. Oh. She really likes potions, huh, Max? Oh, no. It's the big there deal. Go. I don't know. With potions, you can do all sorts of great stuff, like... Huh? Turn into animals. You can do that. What? You can breathe underwater. No, it's not true. You can climb good. Ah, uh, that I that's believe. pretty awesome. That's you can pretty awesome. You can improve your how long you live. Yeah. You, can, you can fall in love. <laughs> Boring. You can grow to a great size First. or perhaps heal terrible wounds. That seems what really would, useful. What they would a everything? six foot tall Walter be like? 
really big. She looks at I, you very think... seriously and says, don't ever, ever give that raccoon a potion. <laughs> I can't Max, we're totally doing thing. that. We're totally yeah. doing that. Later. Yeah. Can we give Douglas one? read that sometimes potions and animals don't mix could we could end up killing walter oh no let's not like, do that it's like true. it's like we like chocolate but have you ever given a dog chocolate a i don't barf. know walter's good. stomach is really he eats garbage good. he literally eats garbage i found him in the dumpster but garbage <laughs> is like chocolate to us that's that's a good point you gave him regular food? Well, he eats every food. Like Eggs Benedict? Love Eggs Benedict. There's a, I think there's a moment where Professor Zhao and Walter make eye contact. <laughs> and she has this, like, look on her face, like, you know, she's like, you know, like, am I on you? Like, What's really going on here? And Walter just looks at her. <laughs> she just looks a little confused. Uh, anyway, Professor. Um, professor. Ah, uh, Mr. Uh, Sky. Yeah, Colton. Hi. Is can you can potions make you invisible? There are, there are potions, powerful potions that can make, that can make uh, the uh, Im imbiber, imbiber, Im yep, that's the word, um, invisible. Mm. None that we'll be practicing uh. Uh, in this basic introductory class, um, but perhaps, you know, when you're in your third or fourth year, if you, you know, focus on potions, I'm into it's, it. a, it's a, it's a great realm of study. I don't want to uh, sway, you know, your, your, your trajectory, but uh, we can always use more potioneers. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I think that was a Colton's Disney just movie. imagining himself as a <laughs> potioner for a minute. Yeah. You gotta make Walter invisible. No. Nope. I could be invisible. <laughs> you, right now you are. Just keep that bag on your head. You're she invisible says, too. She says, uh, uh, well, now let's 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 get on with our with our lesson. Uh so uh, today we will be learning a, a very uh basic potion uh a, a salve that heals burns real fast burns are of course um as i'm sure you all know a, a very real problem for especially young wizards um as you're learning to control your 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 magical spells um uh, and this this spout or this salve uh will help heal you in a Predator, predator natural way They're real does, fast does it work on bee stings you know it's only for burns this one okay no reason <laughs> is it safe to eat the salve <sighs> uh, yeah it doesn't work <laughs> really the same but you have to apply it directly to the burn I, I had bee sting cake yesterday was it were they fire bees oh well, then you're fine they wouldn't burn you <laughs> and she uh, she says well now it, uh, allow me to demonstrate and she kind of walks over to a, a station that you can see is 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 kind of all set out or a cauldron, a little fire, and a number of ingredients. One burns on the way out. It doesn't matter. 
Um, and she says, everyone, uh, come on, g- g- gather around. Yeah, she's going to burn everyone first. That's the first rule. Gut punch. No, no. <laughs> um, and she... She uh, she takes she has her ingredients out and she says, um, so as you can see here we have uh, aloe leaf, um, honey, and she just kind of like like nods like maybe a little over enthusiastically at Levin you know because bees, um, uh, Amish butter. It's it's important to use Amish butter for, for these potions as uh, butter analogs. Uh, it's a, it makes it a totally different potion. And in fact, it, it, it can burn you very badly. Things like parquet. I can't believe it's not. Uh, yes, Col- Colton. What does anablog mean? Um, it's like butter, but it's not really butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay. Exactly. You see, all right, by this time, you see like just this one little hand reach up on like above the counter and start like feeling around for butter and honey. <laughs> she says, um, Miss Greenvale, could you, um, oh, uh, Walter, come here. And she, she reaches into her bag and holds out a pickle. Oh, he, runs he loves pickles. <laughs> walks over hand him the pickle it's just like messily um, eating it and she's uh she she holds up uh two kind of odd looking roots she says uh, and then we have a mandrake root and ginger root and she you know she she kind of grinds the the roots together and 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 mixes the different things together and and puts a you know cooks them about for a bit in in her in her cauldron and after a few minutes uh kind of scoops out uh this kind of goop um but not not goop because that's 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 not real gwyneth gwyneth you shyster um and um And she says, ah, so now, um, of course, I'm sure you'll want to know, Professor Zhao, does this really work? And she says, of course it does. And then she holds her hand on the fire. (gasps) And and burns herself. Ah. Her arm just starts on fire. Her robes just engulfing. No, I'm just. Is this legal? (laughs) <laughs> no, not that bad. No, she pulls up her sleeve and kind of holds her hand up over the fire. And she kind of grimaces a bit. She's like, ah, ah, holds it there for a few seconds and then like shows the class. And you can oh. see there's a, there's a little, a little welt uh. there. <sighs> and she says, now, as long as I mixed everything correctly and, and didn't get, the wrong butter mixed in with my real butter, my Amish butter, this should work. And she she takes a, a, a good two fingers full and slathers it on her palm. And uh, she, she says, she says, ah. And then um, after work. about, after about like a minute, she, she takes out a, she like pulls up a corner of her apron and kind of rubs it off and, and then shows it to the class. And you can see that her hand Whoa. Is, is not unlike it would have been had it not been burned. Whoa. Maybe there's a, just Whoa. a slight, yes. slight redness. <laughs> she says, um, now um, she, she, she kind of goes back over towards her podium. She says, now, if you will uh, take your places, she kind of picks out her her wand and and kind of as she's as she's kind of talking a bit she she kind of 
I'm doing this over here where you can't see. She twirls her wand a bit. I'm real bad at this short range camera. Um, she, tw she twirls her wand a little bit and, and um, like identical spreads of, of pots and, and ingredients kind of make their way out of the cupboards towards your stations and, and kind of populate everybody's stations. Um, and uh, she says, um, now you have your turn. I took really good notes. I don't want to burn I. myself on purpose. I took I'm good notes. I'm not going to do that either. Do you want to? Do you want to work with me? Yeah, sure. Oh, I got I got good notes too. Yeah, but not like mine. <laughs> yeah. You want to see my notes? Yeah, I do. I'll show I'll show Levin my notes, and as I as I open the notebook and show it to him, it's a picture of Bruno on fire with with walter up on top of his head rubbing butter all over his face <laughs> I, oh, those are really good notes how good of a drawer is uh is colton um i would say i don't know i'm not sure what do you what uh, let me uh what can i roll to find out let's see give me give me something chad give me a uh Let's do it. This would be, I think this would be kind of a charm thing because he's kind of charm? trying yeah, to sort I, of, you know, ham it up a little bit. So we'll yeah. go. That's for me. That's a D12. And I rolled an eight. An eight. So not bad. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good roll. I would say, um, it, you know, if you, if you think you want to be a, a pretty good drawer with that with that role, you are a, a pretty good drawer. Yeah, he's not. He's a pretty good drawer. I, I definitely tell that that is is Bruno. Thank you. That is that is really good. Even with the butter in his face. Yeah, I well, my my notes are are actually um, pertinent to class though. Perfect. Let's be partners. Can we be yeah, lab we buddies? Should, yeah, yeah. Let's do Perfect. It. Bruno, if Bruno picks on me, we'll check it we'll out. Let him on fire. Check out. I got a pickle with one bite out of it. Holy you got nothing. You got nothing to worry about. I am gonna get my ass kicked. No, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Don't worry about it. Let's let's make some butter. Yeah, Amish butter though it can't be. If we just do regular butter, it's not gonna be good. Um, okay, you don't. You down. don't have to make the butter. We gotta churn it. It's, we just have no, to. It's, it's there. Just smear oh, it. we look! Smear it into the yeah, you just have to combine everything. There's yeah, a stick of butter coated. right there. Yeah. Is it? Check it. Check it. Is it? You have to make sure it's Amish. Ocho, Ocho, is it Amish? And uh, the tarantula kind of climbs down Colton's <laughs> arm, goes down, and just takes a little taste of the butter turns and looks back and nods <laughs> it's Amish perfect perfect um, so we need that aloe aloe leaves some honey okay. some mandrake root and some ginger root and we gotta we gotta grind up all the, the roots okay. and the leaves and then we gotta mix some okay. with with the butter and the honey in, in a cauldron and we gotta we gotta okay. cook it in the cauldron for just a little bit and then That's a lot of work it should like thicken I think get to it as uh as as you all are 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 kind of getting getting yourselves in order and and, and getting started um you you hear um uh, a now familiar sort of telltale chuckling uh uh um uh con barely controlled laughter and snickering from behind you um and you you turn and you can see you see bruno and and fred are kind of are kind of they're they're kind of getting their stuff set up and they're they're kind of looking over not at you guys at, at somebody else and kind of laughing and and uh and and poking fun uh with each other and you follow his his you follow their Okay, I'm not gonna sneeze. Um, 
you follow their gaze and and you can see Colt and Carter. Sorry. C C names. Uh Carter is is kind of at his station and and uh he's got his wand out and he's he's got a frustrated look on his face and he's like he says some words like and he's pointing his wand at his at his little cauldron um and it's not doing anything and uh you can see that he is trying to start his fire but is uh unable to do it should we should, should we help him um Carter hey uh, um yeah yeah you want to work with us um yeah hey I I I can't seem to remember exactly how to start fires. You know what? Uh, uh, Levin has great notes. Why don't you come on? Come on over and work with us. You're part uh, of the uh, Ninja Pickle Warriors now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. You already know Levin, right? Carter Levin, Levin Carter. Yeah, hey. You guys... hey. 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 Uh, hey. Can I see your notes? How do yeah. you start the How sure. do you start the fire? Oh, his. If, um. Oh, the. Um, um. Well. I I just I just use a lighter. Well, where'd you get a lighter? My my, my dad smokes. <laughs> Whoa. You don't use. You're not yeah, gonna use I, magic I, to start the fire. Uh, um. We're wizards, man. Okay, okay I'm, Carter. I'm, Show Carter how to start it with the with your magic, though. I mean, uh, okay. Um, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but this is one of my skills. He's really good. You, at this. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and start a fire magically. Yeah, you, you cast the very rudimentary, um, start a small cauldron fire. One of the very first spells that any young witch wizard or warlock learns um uh, or sorcerer um and there is a you you cast your spell there is a massive puff of smoke and every single burner every single cauldron to include the ones not being in use all the tables every lab table in here now has a raging bonfire as Whoa. as your magic surge has uh, a, a magic surge has oh, doubled nice. the size of 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 the the effect magic surge uh, oops it's i haven't gotten control down yet dude you're gonna burn super, the place down super easy to do and <laughs> professor Zhao kind of her face is a little like she's got like a cartoon smoke face, <laughs> soot face, you know. <laughs> she was like <laughs> by helping some kid out with something, and now she's just covered in soot. Um, she says, "Ah, oh, what?" And she she does a spell, and and all of the fires kind of go back down to what they should be. I think she knows it was me. I no, no, it was maybe it was probably Bruno, you know, those guys. Are yeah, guys. no, yeah. Um, is it right. like just two students per like burner? Like, what is, yeah, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, uh, I will, Max, Max, yeah. What's up? I think I have to have a human partner. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's make this potion. Nice. Did you take notes? No, did you take notes? I mean, I, I sort of remember it. 
Well, I, I mean, like, we just dump all this stuff together, right? Yeah, it's like she just really like easy. starts just without just, reading anything. I'm just gonna dumping throw the, the whole package. I'm just gonna in. throw the whole root into the the thing. The yeah, cauldron. and then like <laughs> just put it all in, right? I mean, <laughs> she's like smacking um, so Walter's hands this. to like not steal from the pot. Like, hey, mine, mine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, the two of you, uh, are um, combining. A person could maybe describe it, and maybe I'm stepping out of boundary, but this is how it sounds to me. Uh, are are perhaps combining your your ingredients willy nilly, as <laughs> as somebody would say. Oh, oh, oh. Um, at one point, it's probably uh, already measured. Professor Professor Zhao comes over and she's like, she's like, oh, um, um, you you want to do the 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 ginger before the mandrake root? Oh, we were making a big batch. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's still an order to things. <laughs> oh, yeah, ginger first, then mandrake root. Oh man, potions are hard. Can we start <laughs> over. <laughs> How do you how do you separate them all? Not and to start over. She just reaches in and takes a big gloppy handful out. Yeah, it's not working. Do you have any more butter? <laughs> she she kind of makes a face, and and uh, like does some magic and some. Your cauldron is now empty, and you have new stuff. Whoa. Why don't uh, let's let's do this. Um, w- let's have the two of you um, make make some make make a make a roll make some rolls. Um, so I will leave this. I I will I will give this to you. And I, we could do this for everyone, but I'm gonna start with with uh, with. Uh, um, Roxy and and uh, Max, Roxy and Maxi, eh? 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 Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, which of your stats, um, magically are you uh going to leverage in the process of making this potion, and how does that? play out um well if max has to rely on his brains then he's in trouble i'll let i'll let you pick you you can use any any of your magic stats oh Uh, but then you uh, of course so essentially pick one and then kind of describe uh within the um kind of given um bit like on uh on um page like if you go to the book on page uh 12 know, where'd it go 12 for the stats yeah yep yeah um like how does like how does using say if you were to pick fight right how does how does uh so here let me i'll give you an example so you could use say fight um to involve uh the understanding of how uh these ingredients kind of combine to heal injuries um you're kind of leveraging that sort of knowledge um and and capabilities using fight so kind of in that in that kind of line of thinking what stat do you pick and how and how do you i'm going to um convince the potions teacher that levin burnt up my my notes starting his giant fire (laughs) and that i need like an instructional pamphlet in order to finish (laughs) because my notes got burnt Okay. And I'm going to use my charm. <laughs> All right. 
Um, Thank you, Darth. Yeah, okay. I would... <laughs> give, me a, give me a make a roll. <laughs> so that's a d20. Wow. He is, he is the slacker. Three, three. <laughs> you you turn you turn to her and uh, begin your your explanation. And as as you as you do this, um, you feel your hand and and indeed your arm is drawn up to your to your face. Your hand is. Is kind of moving up to your face, and the rest of you, because um, of course you're all close by, and indeed Professor Zhao, um, eyes all go a bit big as a deer stalker hat and a magnifying glass appear. It, a hat on your head, and a, and the magnifying glass appears in your hand, and you are looking at Professor Zhao through this magnifying glass and wearing oh. a Sherlock Holmes hat. Cool. I, and she I, says, "She can says, I have the instructions." Um, <laughs> she says, "Now, Mister Dufresne, I'm, I'm sure your friends have taken um, appropriate notes. Um, that is a, a part of of learning here at this institution, and and kind okay. of turns to to assist another student." Okay, um, I am going to, so grit, yep. um, it doesn't usually, it doesn't say on here, but one of the things said that it has to do with um, healing. Yep. So uh, I would like to use uh, grit to make it have healing properties. <laughs> No matter what I'm actually throwing together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you kind of leverage your 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 uh, ability uh, with with the understandings of the workings of, of healing to to uh, kind of force its hand. Yeah. The, the bull right. in the china shop routine. Okay. Oh no! Four. Oh shit! <laughs> you um, you are you know you you kind of get your ingredients together and you pound and 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 you you put everything in the cauldron and and you you do the the stirring and, and the incantation and and you can see that. Perhaps you didn't make the the paste of the mandrake and the ginger quite as fine as it as it needed to be, and and you can see like like chunky lumps. I oh. should have taken notes. It's lumpy. <laughs> might be dead. I don't think they're doing so well over there, Levin. It's lump. Is it supposed to look like this? They, they she like aren't. holds it up and it's this chunky lumpy. Look, we finished. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Zhao comes over and she you says, You guys aren't done yet. She says, Ah, no, I, I see that you uh you, you need to, to 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 grind the paste a bit a bit finer. Okay. Do you have any do you have any more butter? How have you used all of the pot? <laughs> she gets more butter. Yeah, you get you get more okay, butter. Right. This is magic school. You got all kinds of these are like low grade ingredients. It's like normal stuff. <laughs> you have all you want. Um let's see how uh let's see how Levin and uh Colton are doing. So if if we follow the instructions that you've written down. And the diagram that I have of um, Brunar's head on fire, it seems like we should be able to nail this. I, I think if 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 you trust me, just follow my lead. Yeah, Carter, stick with us, buddy. 
Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Show yeah. them how it's done. Show them how I, it's done. I got this. I got yeah. this. Yeah. All right, Levin. Which, uh, which magic stat are you leveraging? I'm going to harness my all-powerful brains, my superior note-taking skills, mm-hmm. my phenomenal pre-studying this morning, um, and the fact that I secretly love potions. It's not right, a secret. Give me, give me that. Give me that roll. <laughs> oh, it's Such a D twenty. Nerd. Nerd. Would have would have been better with a with a surge, but I'll take a nineteen. Nineteen. <gasps> yeah. Wow. You, your, your notes are immaculate. Um, you know, wizard Martha Stewart couldn't have written it better herself. Great notes. Um, wow. And, uh, yeah, you, you grind and you mix and you incant, um, and, uh, you produce a salve that looks eerily the same as the one that she uh, professor Zhao has created uh during the demonstration dude levin high five hey thank you this is this is one of my skills we're good at potions yes we are we're we're, we're the smartest we totally and, are and let me just yes. tell you now SMT. we have protection that's right we can't be stopped. We're unstoppable. Uh, Colton's going to look over at Bruno Bruno and Fred. You almost said Brunar. <laughs> yeah, I know. Brunar. Brunar and Fred. Uh, are, how are they? How, how does it seem like they're doing? Oh, that's a good question. Um, let me. <laughs> Brunar. Brunar. Let's see. Let me find one. Let's see. There's got to be a is, there a. is there a? Is there a bully? Hey, Kyle. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Glad to see that you didn't electrocute oh, we yourself yeah, today. Yeah. We almost burned ourselves down here in Bruxton. After dancing our asses off. Which was sweet. Bruno is uh he makes his he makes a roll. Oh yeah. Um Bruno and Fred have melted their cauldron. There is Check a, it out, Levin. Check it out. Of, there is a slurry of uh. soup. Um, spilling across their lab table, uh, Professor Zhao. You guys um, having problems over there, Bruno? He shoots you. You, you shut up, Colton. Ha <laughs> ha Professor Zhao says, "Now, nah, boys," and and waves her wand, and and kind of a little broom comes out and sweeps. That's cool. Uh, and uh, cleans up the the mess. And then they, she says, uh, now you need to have done this and this and this and this other thing, uh, and sets them to working again, in, which they start doing in between um, giving you dirty looks. Professor Zhao? Uh, Mr. Sky. Do you, is there a possibility that you could teach that uh, broom thing to Max? Because he's super, he's super messy. He never cleans up. Might be handy. That's all I'm saying. Max? That's, uh, that's for another class. Messiness is a sign of creativity. <laughs> yeah. That's what messy people say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Levin, can I look at your notes? 
Yeah, of course. Sweet. Yeah, let's uh let's have uh um uh Max and uh Roxy go go again. Okay. Uh are you bolstered with Levin's notes? Um are you going to leverage the same the same role? Are you going to try a different approach? Um, um. Oh man, how can I apply flight to this? <laughs> Wasn't well, that kind of like dexterity? Is it? <clears throat> I'm going to like wrong. attempt to like encourage them whenever I see them making mistakes. Be like, uh, wait, 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 grind your, grind your gr- ginger more, grind it more, Esther. Um, yeah, I, so I'm going to basically be so terrible that he's going to tell me the entire way to do it. And then I would like to roll it as flight because <laughs> I've flight. avoided right. actually doing it myself. Okay. Okay. What size guy is that? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> I still only got a 10. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not horrible. Is that with your bonuses from your wand and whatnot? Uh, my wand does not give me a bonus to that. Okay. Got to get a oh, wait, uh, oh, It's my wand. oh, 11. 11 yeah, with my underclass bonus. Ooh, what's the underclass bonus? You get plus 1 to flight as underclass. Shit. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first years are good at running away. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta write that down. Um, yes. Uh, while this is a, a a kind of a new approach, um, you uh, find yourself to be the bearer of a successful new anti burn salve. Yeah. I, I knew you had it. Thanks, Levin. <laughs> Max. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, You're up, buddy. I'm gonna, you got this, Max. I'm just going to try to muscle through with grit. Okay. Will it da- into being a healing Oh, oh geez. He's, he's going to... He's just going to try and jam it through. It's, it's, this never works. Um, you can do it, Max. kind of... What kind of bonuses do I get again? Nothing. Well, okay. So your wand gives you a bonus to two different things, depending on what you chose. And then your broom gives you a bonus. Um, Is that if you're on your broom or is that just in general? I'm not sure. I mean, you might have to have it out. But I can can inspect the rules, see what they say. I, I feel like you... I mean, maybe I'll try flight too. You got this. <laughs> you got this, Max. Levin, he's flight. screwed. He does not have this. Yeah, the do the it. broom, broom, broom benefits are only when you're on the broom. What, what did you get? Um, I'm going to try flight. Okay. okay. Kind of copy what Roxy did. Yeah. <laughs> Just be so <laughs> lost and helpless. That Charismatic somebody helps okay. slacker. All right. Ten, 10 plus one. Eleven. That's the same one. as I got. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, uh, Following along with what she did and 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 Levin's notes, you are able to successfully craft yourself a potion, or rather, All right. in this case, yeah, this one's perfect. I don't know what <laughs> perfect. I like look it's at pretty, ours and then good. compare it to it's, Levin's. It's good. And Stretch. Like, it's pretty good. I mean, it's sort of the same color, <laughs> right? 
is little it supposed tips to be tricks that will help it get go a little quicker. Is it supposed to be kind of green? Yeah. It is. Like a, a green gold. The with a hint of green. Mm-hmm. See how ours are like green, is green, it, and his is yellow, green. <laughs> do we have Colton roll one? I gotta have Colton roll one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Colton, Colton's good. Is he? Is he though? <laughs> he took some of mine. Was that a flight roll? <laughs> like... I'm with the master here. Um, you want me to roll something? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Colton, he doesn't. He, he likes he's into this class actually potion he likes potions this is something mm-hmm. that he signed up for um and so he is he's been studying even though he screwed around with his notes um he has been watching his his extremely smart partner levin and has been um you know watching how he does things so i'm going to use my brains is that what it is is it called brains mm-hmm. Yep, brains. I'm gonna use brains. Um, I have no bonuses to this whatsoever, so it's just a straight D10 roll. Thanks for the inspiration, Levin. This is great, man. I really like working with you. You're so smart when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, you know, I just, I just like that you don't like Bruno too, to be honest. Dude, I, I will, I will always be here for you. He pushes me down. Are you? Well. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you want to say, man. You're going to say, you. are you going to light him on fire? <laughs> I almost did. We'll fire it for a second. <laughs> I will not. I'm not going to light anybody on are fire. Gonna, are you going to burn down I, his family? I will not burn business? down the school. The school is not going to get burned down, okay? No, no. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm glad you got my, my back. Always, dude. You and Carter. Carter, high five. Carter, don't leave me hanging, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're one of us. Um, all right, here we go. Oh, that's not the best. I rolled a two. <laughs> But I try, but I e, e for effort. Yeah, that uh, that's not a that's not great. Uh, it kind of burns oh, shit. And, oh. and turns into like a oh. like a like a hard. It's like crunchy. Mm. Didn't work, did it? Added your ginger way too soon. Really? Can I try again? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try again. All right, so add the ginger. Okay, hold. I'm gonna hold off. Ginger. I rolled a five. <gasps> you did it. You made a eleven. Oh my god! He just he grabs eleven and gives him a big hug. You did it, man! Thank oh you gosh. so much. Oh my god. That's really close. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thanks, dude. Carter, high five. Yeah. Professor Zhao um, kind of looks out at, at everybody, kind of clears their throat to get everyone's attention. Um, as uh, you can see that, um, like you, um, the students, other students are, are, are successfully completing this task. And... Uh, she says, um, well, um, this is but the first step in, 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 your, uh, in your adventure with potions. Um, uh, read pages blah, 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 through blah, blah, blah in the book for tomorrow. And, uh, uh, you know, clean up, clean up, clean up your stations. Uh, Levin, yeah. So this is gonna sound kind of dumb, but like, um, like, so 
all, all we did was like mix this stuff together and like what keeps the regular people from making this potion there there is a little bit of an incantation to it that weird stuff that we say uh, um, so you mix it all up and then you say the you use some little bit of magic you say the right words depending on of course the potion do you Levin did you write the words down in your journal I did not I don't remember saying words um you professor did. Zhao I uh, probably was what were what were the magic words again been. um Flippity dibbity do. Flippity. Is that with two B's? Yeah, and a D. Two D's? <laughs> yeah. And D O. Got it. It's two O's. Two O's? It's double, double, like double. Do. 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 You got it, Max. Max? writing all of this on the back of her hand in ink um, as if like this is going to be here later I'll remember, don't worry um. your other hand your other hand that you've written stuff on you can already see has been worn off because Walter uh. has licked it off the ink uh, he's got a bad ink addiction <laughs> his tongue is all black Ink addiction. Don't yeah, eat that. Have a have pickle. No it's judgment. Sometimes you gotta get some. No ink judgment. Therapy. No judgment. Um. And uh, you you clean up and. Head to your next class. It's a full day of lessons here. A lot of classes. Academy. Getting tired. Yeah. What um, is our next class? Hey, hey, hey Roxy, Roxy. Yeah. Psst. What? What did What did Fulton say? He kept you after class. What did? What happened? He really likes pickles. I don't know. He didn't really That's... have anything to say. He just thought it was really neat. Hmm. That's cool that you have magic pickles. Well, pickles aren't magic. It's just that, you know. Oh, the jar's like, magic? The... So she, she takes it out and, like, you can see it looks about three-fourths full right now. And she, like, shakes it a little bit. And then, like, it looks like there's more pickles in the jar. Okay. Um, Let me, can I, can I have a pickle? Can I have yeah. one too? Yeah. All right. She takes Everybody grab a pickle. Like, Everybody grab one. All right. I got it. I got it. Pickles. But what if we tried, what if we tried turning the bottle upside down and shaking it? And she, she puts the lid back on and puts it upside down, shakes it. I mean, it still works the same. Like you can what see, would, like it looks like there's one or two more pickles. In what? 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 What if you take the lid off and then shake it? Yeah, it's gonna upside spill. Down. What it's if you spill? Take the lid off. Dump it's it gonna all spill. Out. Will it fill back up again? Now, will it? Will it fill back again? No, no. Um. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to mess. break it. And we'll get pickle juice everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it stinks. I, we could yeah, do it. In, true. We could. We could we'll probably get sneak busted. into Bruno's room and do it. Do I see anybody? Who do I see walking past? I've got a pickle in my hand. Sure. Um, uh, you see a, a number of different, different students. Um, do I see Carter? Um, yep. Carter, come here. Come here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Look, this is it, man. We are the pickle ninja warriors are you with us yeah we we, we covered that yesterday here's I'm, your incriminating I'm, pickle <laughs> I, <laughs> incriminating pickle. everybody take a pickle okay, okay. yeah <laughs> look all right look we 
we have to stick together. Okay? We're best friends and we got to stick together. No matter yeah, what pick, happens. Pickles for okay? life. Well, right. I like to say big whiz for life, but pickle ninja warriors forever. Okay? That's a hashtag we can totally use mm -hmm. that in our next TikTok video, right? He holds Roxy? Out his pickle. Touch your pickles. No, you touch pickles. Touch pickles. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fine. It's not sexual. Touch pickles. <laughs> Don't poke it. Just touch pickles. There you go. Levin, are you with us? Come on, buddy. Come on. Carter's in. Yeah. This is just it's just a symbol, dude. We're pickle ninja warriors. Pickle is, ninja warriors. This is really weird. It's us against the world. All right, um, now everybody just um, throw your pickle in the air. All right, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, okay. two, the okay. three. three. Throw it! Go! Yeah. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Mine went flying down the stairwell. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> hey, look. Ooh, I lost no matter, Look, guys, no matter what happens, this semester, it's going to be a long school year. We got to look out for each other. That yeah. Bruno guy's a real dick. And, oh, I, and, and I, it's true. That a bad word, dude. That's okay. Yes. I, I, I'm only saying it because I mean it. Okay. We got to stick together, and I'm dedicating myself to being your friend. You, do you guys want to start a study group? Ah, uh, yes. Sure. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes. We can meet. I mean, we can meet ninja warrior study group. yeah we can meet at five and, and study until nine like and we can protect each other while we every study. day study until nine yeah yeah we'll get we'll learn so much <sighs> just play along yeah okay <laughs> we can hang out yeah we'll study and and we can we can like do extra potions and like learn our own spells now it's starting to sound like a lot of work. We could like, we could practice our our defense against mischievous magic. Levin, look together. Yes, all of what Levin just said, but more importantly, yeah, we'll work out the details. We got to stick yeah. together because there's some weird shit going on. Carter, I'm yeah. talking to you, buddy. What the hell happened on the on the NIS, man? Nobody else is anybody else wondering what like what happened to you, bro? Did the shadow people get you? <gasps> what do you what do you mean? When you disappeared? Yeah, you disappeared for a while. Hey, I, I, I gotta I gotta go back and check my notes to see what I'm Check your notes, Carter. Remember. Well, I mean, I noticed you yes, you guys saw the symbols that are on the on the train and on the walls of the, the the, the train tracks, right? Nope. Yeah, well, Symbols. there's like, they have that those symbols, the like runes and stuff on the walls of the the train and the and the tracks. And I, and I mean, we that might have been just a shared, a shared uh, a hallucination to 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 obscure the school. Might have been just you. All I saw was, um, I saw that Colton hit um that energy vampire with a pickle it was awesome it was pretty good and it had the chili peppers that kind of like splatted all over yeah and then they said something funny like pickles and then they disappeared it was great <laughs> it, was, it was but it was scary it was kind of freaky yeah um all i'm saying guys is we got to look out for each other because that could happen again Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't really. I don't really know what happened. There was a energy vampire. Yeah. It was like this person, but they were like glowing. Mm-hmm. Bright. They were like over somebody's corpse. They were kind of bent over someone. Yeah. You couldn't see who it was on the ground, oh, though, right? Wow, that sounds... I think I saw who it was. That sounds. You saw what? That sounds. I... That's wild, man. I wild. Think I... I think I saw who it was. 
Who was it? Who was it? Look at me. It wasn't you. Uh, you're of okay. Not. We were all together. Yeah, we were all together. Look, that's not important. The, the important thing is that we we make the we make we, we make the pledge today, right now, in between classes, because we got to go to class. We got to stick up for each other. We got to watch each other's back. Okay. If anything weird happens, we got to let each other know. Yeah. Are you in? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Sure. Walter? What about study group tonight? Um, We already did the pickles. I know. Uh, It was cool, though. The touching pickles was great. Carter takes out his (laughs) wand, and and he he holds it out. He says, let's let's swear on our wands. All right. We went went pickles. Now we're going wands. (laughs) This is serious. This this means it's really serious. (laughs) Roxy? Roxy, come on. You're not supposed to touch that end of your wand. Whip it out. <laughs> Don't cross streams. <laughs> Don't cross the streams. Don't cross streams. All right. As well as Levin has his, his staff. What is that thing? Levin. <laughs> Good God, Levin. Where do you keep that <sighs> thing? It was a hand-me-down. I, <laughs> oh, my God. My, that's embarrassing, my, my grandpa, dude. My grandpa couldn't afford a wand. You walk around with that? I Yeah. That's the first time I've seen it. (laughs) What's on there? Wait, what kind? Yeah, what's in the potion bottle? Um, uh, My my grandpa calls it whiskey. (laughs) He says I'll understand what it's for when I'm older. It's booze, dude. I've been to plenty of parties with my folks. They get drunk on booze. It's so dumb. Staff smells like booze. All right. Well, anyways, touch touch your staff to my to my wand. Everybody put your wand in. Carter? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pickle Ninja Warriors. Pickle Ninja Warrior. There's a little guys. there's a little puff of smoke as your your implements touch. Did we just form a cult? Maybe. We totally hey. did. Guess what? We have to go to class. Okay. <laughs> that was just an interlude. That was that was the interlude in between classes. What did you guys do? Well, we formed a cult in between potions and and magical creatures class. As you should. Uh, yeah. Just normal everyday stuff. Everybody knows this. You make your way to your uh next class um magical creatures and how not to get eaten by them hooray um, that's good uh which is um the 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 classroom is is uh in a on the edge of a forest somewhere somewhere that's exceedingly warm and uh, kind of before you um, uh, is uh, a very um, um, fit, young, um, I say young, it's not like he's young, right? But, you know, he's, he's a, 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 a younger looking professor, fit, wearing khaki shorts, a rolled up sleeve khaki shirt. He's got he's got blonde hair. It's kind of a weird, awkward, boyish length of hair. It looks a little shaggy. And uh, as as uh, as 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 you all kind of approach. Um, You can see that he is uh, uh, he is kind of um, crouched over a, a a a student, and and he says he's he's kind of who's kind of sitting on the ground, um, kind of like rubbing uh, rubbing her head, 
and you can hear him say he says oh yeah well you know you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have pulled on her tail like that you you scared us all she reacted the way animals do she kicked you in the head what and uh But uh, you'll be you'll be you'll be fine. And he he like does a little bit of magic and this like nice knot on the head kind of goes down a bit. And the kid kind of like kind of like <laughs> wipes her eyes as she was like crying a bit and, and and stands up and dusts herself off and just it kind of looks like crap still. It'll be okay. We'll just go over there and and uh, don't go pulling any tails. And uh, this professor um, uh, Sindelic um, looks over everyone and he says, "Oh yeah, good day." It's me, Professor Sindelic. Welcome to... I can't do any accents ever. It's so bad. So Welcome good. to... <laughs> Crocky, Crocky. Well, Crocky. Well, welcome to Magical Creatures and How Not to Get Eaten by Them. Sounds useful. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, 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 yes, uh, Mr... Mr. Psychedelic. <laughs> um, Sindelic. Sometimes I feel like Walter wants to eat me. What can I do? <laughs> Walter looks over and just makes this little, like, angry, growly noise. <laughs> See? See what I mean? I'm going to guess that Walter is this... <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> Crocky is... Is that a raccoon? He's a trash panda. He's a majestic trash panda. Do you have any peanut butter secreted about your person? Um, not on me. Perhaps some butter. Everyone knows that raccoons love peanut butter and <laughs> butter. Do you have butter in your pockets? Um, Is that butter in your pocket or are you just have it? <laughs> it's a pickle. Maybe. I got a That's pickle funny. in my pocket. I have Half some eaten. leftover Amish butter. <laughs> he he kind of he he kind of looks at you all uh kind of he kind of like goes from looking at you to like gazing over the full rest of the class and he says he says he says he says, All right, now who's been on a camping trip with the folks? A couple of people raise their hands um, and he says, now remember the first rule of dealing with creatures is the same as the first rule of camping. You got to secure your food. You can't just leave food willy nilly about your person. You got to put it in nice airtight bags so the Pickles. animals can't smell it. We got to put all of our food in airtight bags so Walter won't eat it. Well, he's a raccoon, so you're pretty much hosed. They got those I don't like they got telling five, him no. They got five little fingers. They can get into anything. Um, Roxy? Yeah. Is he going to pay for groceries? <laughs> <laughs> Do we pay for groceries? Um, I'm 12. I don't know, do we? <laughs> Who pays Why for our food shop? around here? Is this a sweatshop? <laughs> How do we eat? It's always just there. Right. It's true, it is, it is always just there. Is it magical food? I bet if we go back right now, there will be more peanut butter in the cupboard. Will there be a Reuben sandwich? I don't know. Maybe you'll need to leave a note about wanting a Reuben sandwich. I love Reuben's. All right. I do too. I want a Ruben. I know they're the best, right? 
Yeah, I could go for one too. Ribbons <laughs> <laughs> are awesome. <laughs> Uh-huh. But the jar lid is secure, so technically it's airtight. Good point. She's got an airtight jar. So let's 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 do this. Um Hi Phantom. Oh hey. Hey there. Hello there, Thank you friend. For joining us. Hello, guy. Hello, buddy. Um, let's do this. Um, uh, Professor Sindelik, uh, kind of introduces the topic of, of animals and, and, uh, and, and a, a variety of different, uh, magical, uh, uh, of, of creatures, both, um, some more mundane and some, um, a little more magical in nature. Um, and he, uh, he kind of, uh, trots out a small handful of these animals. Um, let's do this. Um, Kirk, um, what is one of these animals that he trusts out that is some kind of strange um, wizard hybrid? It's called a Farzoof. Part penguin, part cobra. Whoa. Is it like a chubby penguin? Yeah, it's like a With chubby fangs. snake huh? penguin. That swallows What's it called? its prey whole. Farzooth. Farzooth. Oh, that thing is it's weird a, looking. A penguin cobra. They're actually like really really nice um, unless they like feel threatened and then they they're, they're poisonous uh does it have the little flipper wings yeah it's got flipper wings but when it like when it's angry they 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 tuck in and they turn into the cobra like thing <laughs> so it like chicken wings itself yeah <laughs> they can open their mouth as big as their body. Nice. Yeah, he 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 says, "Oh yeah, this is a Fazuth. They're native. They're native, native to the the shores of Madagascar or wherever they're from. Oh. That sounds that sounds legit." He says. They're generally very mild-mannered creatures, but don't piss them off. Check this out, and he 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 pulls out a he pulls out a Ziploc bag, and and unzips it, ah. and and he pulls out. It's like a normal size sandwich bag, and he pulls out a mackerel, like a whole mackerel. You're like, how the how did he get that out of that little bag? And he like holds it up and the Farzooth like, but it's like squawking like a little penguin does. Those, those weird little squawks they make and it opens its mouth and it's like, it's ghastly. How <laughs> wide this mouth opens and it just swallows it, swallows it, swallows this mackerel hole. Andy, what's another God. crazy, <laughs> wizard combo oh man i was just trying to think of one okay dave uh he he has a specimen of none other than the new jersey devil the which jersey is this devil. small bluish kind of dragon like creature with these red wings that are sort of small on its blue back it, it's about the size of a chihuahua and it's on its belly. It's got this red patch of fur that sort of it's almost like it blushes when it gets happy. So it turns a darker red when it's around people and, and creatures that it likes. Uh, it's a sweet little creature. Yeah. 
And he says, this here, this here is a Jersey devil. It's a very cuddly oh, creature. I've seen one of those before. And he kind of like, he kind of like um, crouches down in front of it and, and, and coos a little bit. And it, it kind of like jumps up into his arms and he, he kind of brings it around. And he says, this one's name is Alfredo. He likes, oh, you know what? He likes pickles. Oh, I, I of, have one. I have a pickle. He, like, he pets it a bit, and it it, it's, it it makes a little sound. Oh, and he it the the it blushes. It uh, it turns that 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 color, and it, it it eats the pickle, but it eats the pickle in a very like aggressively uncute way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Cute, voracious eaters, like all magical creatures. Um, you got one, Andy? Yeah, I got a magical creature. All right, all right. His name is Douglas, and this little Emperor Tamron's going to come marching out of my backpack with a top hat on, and he's going to start dancing around <laughs> in front of me on, on the table. What do you think, Mr. Sindelic? No, what's what's one of the ones that he brings out? <laughs> Got one. Ashley. Uh, uh, it, okay. No. Anteater gecko. Anteater so, gecko. Ooh, so cool. uh, it actually looks kind of like a chubbier version uh, of an anteater, but then like its skin changes to like blend in with its surroundings. Oh, that's um, cool. So like it. It goes uh, in like with the same uh, color change ability as like the wall behind it. And then sometimes it can almost go to a clear and be almost invisible. Very cool. But it's like form wise, it's like an anteater. Yeah, it's kind of like a chubby anteater. Yeah. With like a long little tongue. Nice. I like Cute. it. What's it called? Um. The act no, what well, uh, I can't. Mm. I might have. I might have a table for this. Boop boop boop. I got tables for just about everything. I don't know where to go. Where? Okay. Yep. Tables and books. The great book of random tables. How about the ghost anteater? Something. Mm. I like that. I like where you're going. What about the ghost tongue? Because I got the the little tongue. Yeah. Sure. Tongue. I don't know how to spell tongue. There we go. And uh, (laughs) the professor says, right, now this here's a, this here's, this here's Franklin, the ghost tongue. Yeah, they look just like regular ant eaters, but when they're scared, huh? And it changes color to like match the 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 ground. Uh, it can change color to match the background that it that it's hiding in. Oh, magic! That's cool. It eats ants. Who wouldn't? And termites. Mm. Yeah. Tastes like carrots. Rich really? in protein, termites. <laughs> Everyone is like, what are you fucking saying? That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of disgusting. Gross. Um, and uh, he, he'll kind of um give uh give you leave to um check out check out these creatures um how how high can that gecko climb Well, uh, 
Physically, like, it's more like an anteater. They, they're not real good climbers. He's got like these big clawy things, but he's kind of slow moving. For digging. Yeah. Oh. Where does it go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, where does it poop? Oh. I mean, where, wherever, you know? Just like anywhere around in here. Yeah, where does your monkey t- where does your monkey poop? Oh. He, do- he doesn't poop. Right, dog? <laughs> Doug just looks at you and does the slow nod like <laughs> right. <laughs> there's a secret there's a secret pouch. Never seen it. Dude, in your luggage pooped. somewhere. <laughs> You'll find someday. He just pooped full in of the dorms. Yep. Man. I don't know. He, drawer. he just There's does just his a business. Drawer. I don't know. The maid service cleans it up every day. Mm-hmm. Walter takes care of it. <laughs> Walter doesn't eat uh, poop. Oh, really? Yeah, Walter's not a dog. Unless it's in the garbage. That's true. If it's in the what garbage, you eat it. I'm, I'm, oh. Oh. <laughs> What's this weird? There's too many good things oh, sorry, to eat here. Right there. What's this weird penguin thing? I don't where know. does this like? Where does it live? I want to know more, uh, uh, Mister Psychedelic. Sindelic. I think that's why I said. Where, where does, where does this little guy live? The Farzuth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're from, they live on the shores of Madagascar. Where's that? It's off the coast of Africa. Where's that? It's in Africa. Oh, off the coast? It's a continent. <laughs> Down by South Africa. Four seventeen South eight Africa? takes us there. Uh, hey, Levin, what's what are the lat long of that island? <laughs> Do you know the coordinates? Uh, of Madagascar? Yeah, I'm going to look it up on Google right now. Wait, let me check my notes. Hey, uh, you mind if I get this? You mind if I get some recordings? What do you mean? Just of the creatures. So for study later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> Big Wiz for Life here, chilling with the Fazu and the New Jersey Devil and my buddies here. Check it out, y'all. Say hi. Wave. Roxy, oh, wave. Man. Roxy, Roxy, wave. Yes. Yeah. No. Hi. <laughs> Check it out. These creatures are for real. Okay. Cool. How many, how many, how many TikToks is that now? I got, uh, that's my fourth one. Nice. Yeah. I think I'm internet famous. You might be. Let's see. Would you like to handle animals? Yes. More than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Which one would you like to handle, Colton? I want to handle the fazoo. Nice. Um... What kind of check would you like to see how well you handle it? You know, Colton loves animals. Uh, and so he is going to use a charm approach. Nice. Yeah, to sort of yeah. like give it some scritches, you know, maybe give it a couple of smooches, that kind of thing. Animals like that shit. Especially wild ones. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially, uh, you know, especially oh mash of animals. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so that's going to be a uh, a charm roll. I got no other bonuses to that. I rolled a one. Oh no! Ow! What? Oh, uh... ooh, that's poisonous. Oh, oh no! Geez. Am I gonna die? What? What? Yeah, probably. What? What die did you use? What that was your that was a D uh twelve D twelve for my charm. And I rolled a one. 
Carter, before before you go, it you it was I. I I'm not. I'm Carter. really glad we were friends. I'm Colton. Oh, Colton! Oh my goodness. <laughs> See names that have six letters. It's tough. I know. It was good knowing you guys. It was. It was so great knowing. You. Thanks for being my friend. Can you? I got. Can you I got a potion me? you can put on it. Oh, you do. I'll miss you. Your potion is really chunky, dude. Time. Your potion is so chunky. I just don't think it's gonna I work. I have some whiskey. I think this is the situation my grandpa that. was talking about. Hey, will you escort me to the nurse's office? I think I'm gonna die. Prof uh, professor professor? Sindela comes over. Uh, oh, wh what's going on here? Uh, I, it bit, I got bit on the face. I think I'm gonna die. Fails. By what? By the Fazooth? Yeah. What did I say his name was? A Fazooth. His name is. It was like. Fazooth. Alfred, maybe. I don't remember. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> huh? Huh? Professor. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> Oh, All those pickles. I'm well, playing trumpet. Uh, I guess I got to cut back on the refried beans for lunch, huh? <laughs> hey, mate, I think I'm about to die. <laughs> this is our no, uh, uh, Alfred here, he's 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 too old to create venom. Uh, so it's just going to scar? Uh, I mean, maybe if you got a salve to put on it. Like this uh, one. I have lots of those. He pulls out a little tin and Ooh. rubs some salve on your uh, face, face that holes. Feels good. Look at how smooth that salve is, Max. There's no chunks at all. It's it's how not to get eaten by animals. That's <laughs> the name of the class. Shit, I think I failed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You did um, like the one thing you're not supposed to do. In all this right, class. fine. You try then, dude. Oh. I'll hold the fazoof. I don't care. Yeah. Come here, fazoofy. Let's do this. What? Uh, how? How are you going to handle the animal? I'm gonna also try to charm him. Nice. Hey, come here. Come here. Up Look you out. go. Up you go. Uh, that's a seventeen. Nice. Oh. Yeah, you, you, uh, you, you correctly like, like make the noises. You kind of do a little bit of like head motion to like, you know, you're like, yeah. That's how. That's how. That's that's half of their communication is yep. that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, and it, nice. it, it like slithers up you and like, it's like whistling in your neck. Uh, I mean, it's, I got it right. A plus. If it doesn't hurt, it hasn't bit you. Oh yeah. I, I think he likes you. Here, give him a mackerel. Gross. I'll try to. I'll, I'll, I'll grab a fish and try to give it to him. He holds out his his, his little sandwich bag of giant fishes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's got bad breath though. Oh fish. yeah, yeah, oh, he's totally. whole mackerel. He's eating two of them in the last okay, half okay, hour. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> the professor kind of, kind of. Take take takes him back and and then sets him down and some other kids come over and check him out. Um. Roxanne, I will, I will try to catch uh, the ghost tongue. Okay. Um, using my dexterity oh. and speed. Your your flight. Yes. Nice. Okay. 
five. Five. Um, <laughs> that was a D20, guys. <laughs> luckily, it's an anteater, and they're not known for their speed. Um, it like it like it looks at you, and like you make eye contact with it, right? And it's like. And it like starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like starts walking away, uh, and then you grab it. <laughs> He's so chubby. <laughs> Very soft. You yeah. start like trying to you, change color. Yeah, you can see. Oh, yeah, like it's like it's like the color of your pants or whatever you're wearing. You know, it's the color of the grass of dirt. Um. And as you're kind of, of fiddling with this uh, with this with this creature, um, you feel a, a very small tap at at your at your uh, like elbow at your elbow, like a... yes. And you can see uh, Walter, and he looks up at you, and he does this. Oh, uh, it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> she just like tosses him back out. <laughs> You're the only one for me. <laughs> she picks up her chubby <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> he, uh, he climbs in your arms and he kind of, uh, he, he does this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And like she pulls out the jar of pickles and like just hands it to him. You find that you do not have your jar of pickles. What? Where's the picker pickles, Walter? Oh, come on, you know. Uh-uh. Guys, my pickles are gone. What? What'd you say? Somebody took my pickles. What? And Walter said it wasn't him. Bruno. I'll look over at Bruno to see if he has the pickles. Yeah, I'm going to start looking around. There is a mysterious large bulge in his pack. <sighs> in his pack. Bruno! Get him, Walter. <laughs> Bruno has your pickles. He's like Roxy. holding the Jersey Devil. It is not blushing. Bruno is holding the Jersey Devil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to... Um... <laughs> is the bag of fish still nearby? Yeah, there's a, there's a, he's, he's like giving another fish to a kid to feed, to feed to this bottomless gullet Zooth. Colton. Yeah. I'm, I'll make a distraction. You go for the pickles. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm going to grab a mackerel and fling it at Bruno. Right in the face. <laughs> like just a wet mackerel. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, make, a, make a fight roll. Oh. This could go badly. I'm going to set it for... Uh, it's going to be fairly uh, innocuous difficulty we'll say a, uh, a six as that's happening colton is gonna is gonna move fast rushing past bruno to grab the pickles using his magic to sort of like almost like a mage hand to grab the pickles and pull them out of okay. his bulge oh god i rolled a one <laughs> god damn you 
Everyone is a gift. Does that mean I miss? Uh, well, I mean, a, a one isn't necessarily a, 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 a miss, but in this case, yes, you did, in fact, miss the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pretty It's not much. an auto, right? It's not a crit fail, right? Unless I'm reading things wrong. Uh, which is entirely possible, but um, yeah, you you toss you toss the uh, the the mackerel, and it kind of goes to the side. You're not, I mean, you're what twelve? You're not like used to throwing mackerels around. Holy mackerel! Like, it's a whole fish. It's this. It's bigger than Walter. <laughs> they're they're that big. Right, mackerels are pretty big. It's like a, it's a Wait, maybe fish. I'm not. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong fish. Mackerels aren't Huge. that big. Are they? I was thinking more oh, or something. In this I game, guess. they are. Yeah, they're big. Magic, magic mackerels, like a trout. It's the magic name of my, mackerel. Enlarged. That's the name of my. That's the name of my stripper movie. Magic mackerel. Little. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Beep. Colton, uh, yeah, you, the distraction like flash. is, is less great than it could be. Do you, <laughs> do you engage? Oh yeah. 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 Okay. He was moving before the mackerel was even thrown. All right. Um, and you want to. I'm going uh, to race past and I'm going to use magic like yep. uh i'm thinking almost like a like a uh mage hand to grab the pickle jar okay. as i as i rush past let's go with flight so it'll be flight plus magic right which is a d4 yep and then i have my wand in hand so that's a plus one and uh um, i'm not we'll using say... my broom. Um, so this is a little bit reality bending. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's going to add a five to the difficulty, uh, but it's small. So it's, or it's pretty tiny effect. So it's uh, only a plus one. So it's a total of six. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, I'm rolling a D. Um, Yep. You said flight. So I'm rolling a D20 plus a D4, and I get a plus one because of my my wand. Whew. Here we go. Um, The total is 12. 12. Yeah, you... Um, you... You race past, and you... You, uh, you use your magic to, to, to reach and draw forth the the absconded pickle jar um and kind of as you do um bruno is is kind of bowled over as alfred the farzuth um kind of runs into him and uh, on his way to get at that mackerel that uh that max um threw ineffectually other than to throw it in a direction that is away from himself um and and uh the the jar comes out of the bag and you have it now i'll You've totally i'll totally like tuck it and run back to my friends and nonchalantly hand it back to to uh roxy take it yes. oh, i missed you pickles <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. unscrew it and then just take like a handful of pickles and then just like throw them on the ground and, <laughs> and put the lid back on and put the pickles <laughs> back in my bag. Nice. Uh, and then Walter will start eating ground pickles. <laughs> ground pickles are the best pickles. Oh, why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, and um, kind of with that, as uh, um, you hear uh, the professor say, Ah, Crocky, Alfred, no! (laughs) And uh, uh, you you just, it's just a a mess of 
mackerels and Slytherin over there. And pickles. And pickles. <laughs> um, May just could I could I look? Uh, so as that all happens, and Colton is kind of like catching his breath, he looks back at um, at Brunar, Bruno, and just kind of does one of these. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. As as the bell rings, and and uh, kids start to file out, and uh, Bruno, of course, again gives you the stink eye as uh, he just wants to do when you get the best of him. It's warranted. Yeah. Um, and with that, my friends, we will conclude this session of our kids on Broom Street. Bye. The Mega Supreme, thank you so much for joining us today. The wild surges were wonderful. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, that was fun. That was great, think, man. Right? Hell yeah. Dude, this, I love this. I love this game. So fun. <laughs> That's great. It's, it's almost, it seems like anything is possible in a sense, For which real. I really like, Can, yep. you know, relative to some of the other games that we've played. So thank you, Chad. Or no, For, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons, nothing is possible. <laughs> just failures. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that you could do in Dungeons and Dragons is burn shit down. I mean, burn, no. burn there's no imagination. Wrong. It's like, I'm going to burn this down and then I'm going to burn this town down and then I'm going to murder this guy and then I'm going to burn this down. And yeah. I'm going to take their stuff. I mean, it's just, it gets, you know, it's, yeah. yeah. But We're this, into the whole different thing. Yeah. We can cook. We can, uh, we can cook. create creatures. It's great. Potion. Yeah. So. I can have a chubby trash panda that eats pickles. Hell yeah. The pickle monster. Love That's it. That's true, Darth. There are T Rexes. You can be a T Rex in D&D. That's true. This is very all right. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Yeah. We like it. Dave, um, we got uh, we got some knights and or bikes tomorrow. You are damn right we do. So all tomorrow night, right. Eversalt, my friend Eversalt Travis and I are going to be diving back into knights and bikes where we play a video game and we raise money for the Children's Miracle Network hospital system uh through the extra life foundation and oh, yeah. we are super duper close to uh, our goal of fifteen hundred dollars uh we're closing in so if anybody is able to donate awesome if anybody wants to just come by and hang out with us while we play the game is really cool nights and bikes is like this really fun uh re well-written game with a great narrative and just it's very um I don't know. There's a lot of substance to it. So we're really enjoying playing around with that. And, and Travis and I do the voices of all the NPCs. So it's really fun. So come on over and check it out. Uh, there's a group of us that are raising money. It includes uh, Phantom NJ, Darth Surrealish, myself, and Travis. And we are, uh, we're doing this thing for kids. So come and check it out. Oh, yeah. And I should also mention, I think we have, uh, let me just double check. This weekend, the Greyhawk community is coming together to raise money for uh, St. Hey, to, for uh, the um, St. Jude Children's uh, Research Hospitals. So um, there's a bunch of games going on that are sort of uh, related to the Greyhawk setting. And I, I'm going to be playing on Sunday with uh, Kayla over at Time Lord's Wife's channel. Uh, so come and check that out. But there's a whole bunch of stuff. Check out that link that I just posted in the chat. Uh, and you can get involved, watch some of the games, get involved with some of the fundraising. It's super fun, great people, and for a good cause. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And as always, join us next Wednesday for Beyond Salt Marsh. As um, oh boy, we're getting into some shenanigans. <laughs> we're getting into some shenanigans. The we showdown, a, a dockside showdown in the froth. <laughs> um, but at any rate. Thank you all for joining us. Should we raid somebody? I suppose I was about yeah, to sign out, it. and then I'm like, "Oh wait, yep. we raid no, people." Let's, let's raid. Uh... <laughs> but thanks all for joining us. Um, whoever we raid, uh, give them give them the raid emotes. 
you know what? We're gonna raid. Uh, we're gonna raid Phoenix again. Phoenix, you better. Oh yeah. You better throw He's some love our way, buddy. one eighty-two viewers right yep. now. Wow. You guys, thank you oh, so damn. much. Throw the emotes at Phoenix and his crew. They're awesome people. Uh, we love you all. Thanks, Jason, for being here. Darth, uh, all everybody. You guys are awesome. We love you all. Let's do and this. Remember, raid. you know magic. Magic. See you guys. Love you.